Hi, my name is Nick, and um, I'm here to try to help you out and get Power ISO running on your Linux distribution. Um, the only way that I've seen it done is through a tarball, so you need to extract this tarball uh, somewhere in... I wouldn't do it in your home directory, I would do it in uh, your system directory, which is just forward slash. Um, you could probably get Power ISO running off of a Windows executable EXE through Wine if you wanted to, but... Wine is doing amazing, um, but I I still prefer to do you know native stuff. So here we go. Um, so you can get Power ISO for Linux right here. Um, you could just duck duck go search. I don't really use Google unless I'm looking for images, which I want to going to get into this later. Uh, this is because we're going to be making it easier for you to launch the program afterwards. Um, so download the 64-bit edition. I'll put this link in uh, the description for you. Um, so anyways, we're going to have to, oh well, here, here's my downloads, there's Power ISO, it's a tarball. Um, but we're gonna move this into root directory. So for me, I like to use Nautilus. Um, oops, yeah, it's sudo. All right, from here, I've already done everything. Um, you take it to your file system. This is how I did it. I made a directory called Power ISO and extracted the tar into here. I didn't like it, so the extraction that I made, I just put over here. And you can scroll down, and here's the Power ISO executable uh, sh file. So from there, you're pretty much good. You can launch it. Um, here, let's open up a new terminal. I don't like tabs in terminal. I'm weird. So if we CD into, well here, let's let's just try it this way really quick. Um, let's go ahead and just try to launch it like this. Not gonna work. So you're gonna have to CD into this directory. So the directory should be, uh, what is it? Power ISO hyphen x64, spell that right, yep, okay, see, so yeah, now I'm in. And then now, You can drag and drop it, um, and boom, we got it running through a command. So after that, you're going to want to create a, a command that will just be like a, a one-click thing. So from here, uh, let's go ahead, and I'm using Kubuntu. Uh, I, pre I originally installed Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. Um, and I just wanted to try KDE. I hadn't tried it out in so long, and uh, the KDE desktop environment is it's beautiful, it's strong, it's powerful. You can do anything with it. I mean, as with all Linux distributions, um, it's not as lightweight. Uh, I do like it way better than Ubuntu's Unity. So anyways, we're going to add this to my menu, um, so I don't have to use Terminal. So I'm, I'm going to do, I'm going to add it into my utilities. Um, we're going to new item. It'll be power ISO. Oops. Got that a little low. And um, I guess that should go into comments, not description. Alright, and the command. So we're going to want to CD into power ISO X. 64, I keep wanting to do x86, and then we're going to do two and symbols to do a command right afterwards, and that's going to be this guy right here. Let me paste that. Let's go ahead and test this code really quick. So we're just going to cd out of that directory, so it's just basically back to regular terminal. Okay, cd power iso, so that's automatically uh, going to that directory and then executing uh, the sh file. Boom, it's there. So, there's my little launcher I made for it. So let's, I wanted an icon. I want an icon for it. I don't want it just to be blank and ugly. So from here, we can select an icon through the KDE menu editor. If it will stop being, this ain't that the best of uh, <laughs> laptops here. I got this for free at a thrift store. Um, so I was looking at this image. I thought it was pretty. 
pretty neato, so we can save that image. It's a PNG. Um, I'm going to put it there to save it. It's in my downloads. Um, other icons. Browse. It's right there. Alright, and let's save. Close that out. Close our root nautilus. And we can close out dolphin. Let's move my little ugly webcam. Alright, so if we go into applications, go into utilities, power ISO. There's the icon I downloaded right there. So anyways, utilities, power ISO. Boom, there we go. That's how you get uh, power ISO running easily without using command line every single time. Um, and uh, just for fun, I'll show you my about, if you like. Yeah, I, I got it for free, so which isn't bad for free. I mean, in 2020. But um, thank you for watching. I hope this helps somebody out. Um, seems to the software seems to be working fine for me. If you're having any issues uh, with the software on your end, please leave a comment. Um, I'm probably not the best at answering, like, you know, very, very uh, complicated issues. But, uh, yeah, and uh, tell me how this worked out for you. I appreciate you watching, and um, you have a fantastic rest of your day. Hey, Nick here once again, just to bug you one more time at the end of the video. Um, I just want to let you know that uh, I am 100% a noob still. I've been messing around with uh, Linux. My first distribution was Fedora when I was age, I think, 11. Um, I've been hardcore into Linux. Uh, still, didn't, you know, I'm, I'm nowhere near expert. I'm not a professional. I'm still an amateur. So any advice you guys have uh, for uh, any videos I make like this, please, please leave your critiques in the comment section below. Um, this is my desktop microphone. I mean, my desktop webcam. Um, I would be recording my face off of my phone, which is an amazing camera on it, but I want this audio quality. Um, this is the laptop that I recorded everything off of. It's a HP 15. Um, I actually got 6 gigs of RAM, half a terabyte hard drive. I got it for free. Uh, that's what the whole video was built off of. But um, I don't know. I just uh, really, really appreciate you watching my video. And again, I know in the beginning of the video, instead of manually dragging and dropping the tar into the uh, disk directory, the root directory. I could have did a make file, but that's just the way I do things. Um, I mean, stuff like that. Any any, any advice, please uh, feel free. Leave it there. Be mean. Be a dick. I love it. Appreciate you watching the video. Like and subscribe for more.